Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Yes, I'm back at the station here, and uh, a couple of things have come to mind. One of the things that I was thinking about is, like, why is it so dark here? Why doesn't the sun come up? And then I just remembered something. I do have God, God powers, and I have changed the time of day, so let's just get some better recording light here. Oh, that is much better. Let's get right about here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I also... Uh, Big thanks to, I can't remember who it was, but they, uh, they mentioned that I've got to put ore detectors on the ship here. So I got a couple of ore detectors, one there and one on the other side. Maximum distance. So that is good. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, start getting production going here. Now, one more thing too before I, before I forget. Uh, big thanks to Ron for mentioning uh, about this whole idea about pressurizing this top section of the asteroid not working. Uh, apparently the game doesn't recognize the voxels as actual... Uh, as a sealable surface, so that idea is not going to work. Uh, I do have other ideas. I want another idea. I want to do with some so an idea like that with another idea I want to do, but we'll have to get into that some other time. You know, I'm surprised I've never had an issue with those guys yet. Anyways, today we're going to go ahead and start getting everything uh, set up here. Now, what I have done, I am actually producing a whole bunch of stuff right now, including power cells. And uh, excuse me a second. That's the best part about recording, not streaming, is if you guys sneeze, you can stop at any time. Um, I have been looking into the scripts, too, and I've been trying to mess around with a couple of them, like, just for basic inventory display. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is I'm going to, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get the same inventory system set up in the back there that I have down on the planet there with the, the sorting and all that stuff. And I've been messing around with a couple of different scripts, but for some reason these scripts that I'm getting are not. They're almost out of date. They've changed part of a line of the code or something, so I get errors every time I compile it and all that stuff. So I'm going to keep investigating that. As far as scripting myself, uh, it might be a while before I start doing stuff like that. But, you know, it'll come in handy for, like, uh, sequencing of motors and pistons and stuff like that. But what I have done is I am uh, producing a whole bunch of stuff right now. i got a whole bunch of stuff queued up. Uh, I was going to get some power cells going. I was thinking about expanding the power network, uh, getting more solar panels, and I want to get more batteries. Uh, what I have noticed is, as you can see, we're not generating as much power as we could be. Uh, I do have, th I did put a third uh, speed module on here, uh, but f I'm going to need a lot of power. Not only am I gonna, do I have these three refineries, this one's going to be going. Uh, I'm going to be having one refinery set up with four yield modules for uranium only. Another refi refinery set up with yield modules, four yield modules, doing iron only. That's only going into assembler that only go does plates, and it's going to be completely separate from the other network. So, in that way, that this thing is going to be automatically running plates, and not have to worry about stealing from this refinery, which is going to be everything else: the platinum, the gold, the silver, the nickel, and silicon and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, what I need to do is, first of all, I actually need to turn these things around. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to get some power cells going, too. Uh, let's actually see what I have. I do have a lot of stuff on me and not even close to what I need. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up some po power cells so I can make some batteries. Uh, let's go ahead and make, go and make a thousand. And I'll drag those into the front of the line if I can. And we'll get those producing, and I'm going to go add some solar panels out here. Um, I am going to add, let's see, I'm doing a thousand power cells. And then I have some, like the, yeah, if I can go six or eight solar panels out, that'd be great. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got the batteries down there. Okay, never mind. Then we'll just do the blocks in. All right, go back to bar two, actually. Grab a block and put that there. And then, of course, we're going to copy the color. Like so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. And that'll be six solar panels on either side. Uh, twelve solar panels on either side. I did craft like 2,000 solar cells, so we've got more than enough. So, let me get this done, and then when I get back, I should have enough for batteries. Okay, so adding those extra 12 solar panels, like, 
greatly, almost doubled my current input. I may add, end up adding more, but I think I'm going to add a few more batteries. Uh, we should be okay for now. I want to try to have this place completely uranium free, just because this is going to be a hog for power, especially when we're having plates running infinitely. Speaking of plates running infinitely, I have 500,000 kilos <laughs> of iron in the ship waiting to be smelted. All right, so now batteries. And the batteries are just there, and so at least we have some run time while I'm off somewhere else. Because I'm going to be off somewhere else, I'm going to actually need power, right? Or uh, need light for recording purposes, and I might not be in the area of light here. So, let's see, I'll add about 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I may add, I was thinking about adding more solar panels, just branch them off the end here, make them double wide, but that's something I can do later. Right now it's just a matter of getting this all set up. And, oh, oh, six more on this side. I gotta admit, this Elite Welder is just so nice. Uh, and I, I do plan on using the Ship Welder at some point in time, actually going to be for the, the next project, which is going to happen around here, and this is why we're getting production going. Anyway, so what is this doing? This is doing motors. What else we got left here? Okay, we should be good. So now I'm going to go and uh, first we're going to... This actually have anything in it? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to take this refinery down. I actually want to flip those around because I want the modules to be exposed to give it more of a more of an industrial look. So let me get this taken care of. Just flip those around and I'll bring you back. Oh yeah, I was looking at the control panel too. I was trying to figure out why I had conveyor sorters that weren't actually uh, weren't actually complete. And I'm like, well, where are they? Where are they? And I forgot they were underneath the refineries. Okay. So the first one here is going to be the uranium and I do want to color code them just just because I can you know nothing usual uh oh yeah I already have the yield modules here yes yield module and so that's not how you choose the color I will make it green it's not going to be I'll go with like that just because we can and that one why do you rotate like that did that to me on the other refinery. There we go. And four. And finish these up. They're expensive, but fortunately I do have everything. Oh yeah, no gravity. So I need to get my there we go. Uh, get my self charge. So that's gonna be that one there. Uh, the plates. Probably, I'm thinking about making this one white. And again, this is gonna be yield modules. Just because uh, if I'm going to be mass producing plates, I want to have as much iron as possible. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit. There we go. Do that. And then one. And then rotate it again. I think it's because I'm snapping to the other one. And four. And then this is going to be the yield. Uh, the iron. Now, I want to check, see if this is actually using power, even though it's not producing. Let's see here. I don't think it's actually using any power at the moment. Which is good. So now I don't have to worry about this using power if it's not actually running. And this is going to be the, the regular stuff the day to day. And we'll probably end up making this one brown. Just because. Uh, sure. Do all that, and then this one is going to have two yield and two speed. I do have to pay attention to my jetpack here. That's not brown, that's not the brown I wanted. Good enough, we can always recolor it later. That there, there, and then two yield modules and that's just before the, the platinum and the gold and silver I'm not too worried about it being 100% but that'll work 
So let me charge up and I'll be right back. All right, now I've been thinking about uh, like what word I want to have set up. Uh, I'm going to keep the, the hydrogen production here. I'm going to keep that all set up just exactly where it is. I do want to move these. Uh, for, for containers go, I want to have 16 containers. That's going to be my storage system. I've been thinking about how I want to do this. and I think I think I might actually just do like a, an L shape here. Well, it won't even be a sh L shape because uh, it's going to be equal on all either side. So there will be eight containers here, and then a one block gap, and then eight more containers. And I'm going to place those down now as a sort of a placeholder. They're going to be small containers, but that's fine because I have them set to like 400,000 liters. And color, hmm. I don't know about the color yet. Could technically have a black. And we can always change the colors later afterwards. So we'll do that. We'll make it black for now. And figure it out when the time comes. So now, from what I, uh, because I don't want them actually mixing with each other, I'm going to have to chain, uh, place these in stack room. So there'll be one down there, one down there, one down there, and then one down here. It helps if I had the blocks in the proper bar. No, wait, that's the wrong one. So then here would be one, two, there's going to be nothing up here. Three, four, like that. And then on top of the con container itself, I'm going to place another container, which is going to be on the other hot bar. And yes, I really planned this one out, didn't I? One there, 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 and there. And then it's going to be the same thing in the back, where it's going to be the conveyor, conveyor sorters, uh, whitelists and everything. And then there's going to be one box, probably. Let's see where it would be a good place to put this. I might even put it in the corner here. I'll just finish these up quickly. I may get some lighting set up here, too. I was thinking about doing that earlier. Oh, that does not go there. But what I will do is because I'm going to have that extra container, I'm going to place that in the corner here, and that'll be the the one-offs, because I want to have the gap here for whatever purpose. So anyways, let me fill this out, and I'll bring you back. And there we go. Now, this is one of the things I noticed down there when I was building the one down there, is uh, in order to get that border, actually, I want to try something here, because uh, I know that when you select the color, then paint, that it changes, but or you get that border, but that didn't work in this case, so I just gotta adjust the value just slightly. I think that should be enough. Where the color is the same, but it's enough to actually get that frame around there. So that is that. So now, I'm gonna get this out of my way. Uh, what I plan on doing is I wanna get, yeah, I wanna get two connectors set up over here. I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but I'm trying to get everything laid out. I mean, we'll do all the conveyors at the same time because I gotta put sorters on there and I gotta I gotta configure all of them and all that stuff. But uh, what I want to do over here is go back to the other hot bar, which is right there. And so there, where is it? Oh, there it is. Assembler. So this assembler is actually going right on the top of this one. Uh, and thinking about it now, if I actually do want to have speed upgrades on this, I forgot to paint this uh, because this is just going to be mass-producing plates. It's got yield mo yield modules and refinery, so doesn't really need it, I guess. Probably not. Uh, I did forget to change the color. We'll do that quickly here. We'll do a Shift B and then a middle click and then get that out. And then I'm going to name this one just so I know. So this is assembler two, but now it's now the plate maker. So in that way I can have this one going auto. And at least when I go into production, I can see actually see it different different from everything else. Oh yeah, survival kit. I'm like, why does the moon teleporter have an assembler? But I forgot. That's about that. So that is that. Uh and then from there it's probably gonna be Probably some sort of conveyor going down to the network. So we'll get back down here. And then that's the only assembler for that. I'm going to need two assemblers. Yeah, I probably will get two assemblers going just so I can get mass 
mass-produced stuff going. Now, where would be a good place for those? I might actually put them over here. Be the, the logical thing to do. And I think these ones will be sp speed upgraded. Uh, I don't... It was mentioned about putting four upgrades on here and still being able to access the door. Well, you, that doesn't really matter because you can actually access it. From, whenever I print stuff, I just go into the production tab anyways. And you can do that from any terminal. So it doesn't matter if you block everything off or not. Uh, the only thing I need to do is make sure I have access to that conveyor on the bottom. So uh, let's move it over one. So put it there. I need two spaces for the upgrades. And I'll do that. And then another conveyor sorter. At least I do have everything on the bars, just not on the proper bars they should be. Nope. There we go. Four. And... Okay, we'll do that. And like so. And it, one thing I didn't notice when I first started using them, you can actually see the arrow on the conveyor port. When it's pointed in like that, that means that it's pulling from that side. And then on the other side, the arrow is pointing towards the edge. You can see at the top there. And that just actually lets you know which way it's actually fit, which direction it's going. And I'm going to fill these up for now. Okay, and then while we're here, because I'm going to have to configure these as I go, this is going to, what's going to be? It's going to be in drain all, but it's going to blacklist. And get some ores. So the only thing that should come out is components. In fact, I should just whitelist components. It'll probably be easier. Might work a little bit better. So we'll do that. And I'll do that with the other one. And while I'm at it, I'll get the container set up. So I will be right back. All right, so that's all set up. So I got basically everything that I'm going to be using a majority of. Uh, the only thing that I don't have in here is things like gravity components and radio communication components and the explosive paraphernalia and stuff like that. But anyway, so that is that. Now, I'll, another thing I want to do too with uh, these setups here is one, the refinery is going to be going, or the uranium refinery is going to be going to be going into its own box. So I might actually put this one here, uh, just because, and we're going to put another conveyor sorter here. No, actually, I think I just put a junction here. Uh, like I said, these are going to be separate networks. Go ahead and grab that color, we'll put that there. We'll put a container on, we'll go and uh, grab this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was kind of caught me off guard there. I thought I was jumping really high and then I forgot that I was leaving gravity. Anyway, so I'll place that there and that's going to be just our uranium storage for the time being. Actually, probably permanently. But Anyways, so now for the refineries, uh, like I said, this is just going to be going on its own. Uh, this is going to be doing all the, the, the mainstream stuff, I'll call it, like nickel and silicon and platinum and whatnot. And this is going to be straight up uranium. Now, what I want to do underneath is I actually want to have storage containers for the ingots coming out and a storage container for all the ores going in. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because I was trying to... Where was it? I think it was... One of these places. I think it was actually here. I was trying to force everything out of the refinery into the assembler to, so it was always in the assembler. The problem is, though, is... The assembly would fill up, let's say, with gravel, and I wouldn't be able to get resources in there to make what I need, so I had to pull everything out to make room for it because the assembler only has so much room. Yes, I can cheat it and do 1,000 times like I did with my inventory, but that's kind of pointless. Infinite storage right there. So, that being said, now I need to want to get sort of an output on this one. Let's start down here. This is going to be the same thing with con containers and sorters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, fill these in, and just get these set to drain. Uh, I can't actually, oh yeah, I can't. Oh no, I can't, oh there it is. Yes, I'm uh, having one of those days. Where was it? 
drain all. Fairly simple. Do the same on this one and the same on this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll have it feed in from the bottom and they're going to be outputted on the top. Okay, drain all. Okay. So now that is going to be coming out and it's going to go into storage. Now, this one's going to be hooking up right into the main line, which is going to be over here somewhere. See, so I got the assemblers here. Those are going to be outputting the top as well. What do I have here? It's an armor block. Okay, that can be pulled out. At least I hope it can be pulled out. I'm going to find out. Oh, no, I can't. Damn it. Because it's... Hold on. I'm in the wrong spot. Ah ha ha. Yes, I was going to take the wrong blocks out. So these are the assemblers. And they're pushing out the bottom. Why are they pushing out the bottom? Get pulling in. Well, I'll have to work out something differently than that. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get some containers in. And we're going to get one for all the main resources. Go ahead and just change it to that color just because we can. Alright, that is going to be a place that's going to be going on its straight onto its own. Actually, no, we'll do... That doesn't even need one of those. I got these all ass backwards. Uh, oh, no, no. That's right. It is pulling in the front. That's fine. Okay, I'll put one there. And then... I wonder if one would be big enough. Let me check something. Okay, we're going to need large cargo containers. I thought these had a storage of 400, but it's 150. Uh, the 500,000 iron I have actually takes up what was it? Uh, hmm. Jeez, I can't even remember now. It was... Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah, it's going to be large cargo containers. Uh, for the inputs, anyways. The outputs are going to go somewhere else. And I'm thinking about that now. Should probably have the outputs here. Let's actually do that. Now, what all do we produce? Let's see, we go, got it. Let's put them right on the edge, that makes more sense. So it's gonna be iron, silicon, nickel, platinum, cobalt. I guess we should get one for magnesium, even though I'm not gonna use it. Uh, hmm. Actually, oh yeah, gold and silver. Forgot about that too. Gold, silver. I think that was it. Let me double check. There's one more, and that is gravel. And gravel really should be a bigger one. No, it'll be fine. I don't plan on processing too much stone. And that's gonna be the same thing here. Oh, I need more interior plates. Of course I do. Good thing I got a whole bunch being produced. So that's going in, that comes out, so then I will put the sorters on top, which are on four. And again, these are going to be whitelisting just the ores, and I need interior plates. So let me get this set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there's that. So I've got nine containers set up, one for everything that the refinery can produce. Uh, even though we're not going to need everything, it's all there, just for the sake of it. Uh, I put magnesium powder in there too, because one, I made an extra container, and two, just in case we happen to get some. Anyways, and then I got the sorter up here to drain. Actually, I didn't set it to drain, but I whitelisted everything that goes into those containers, so just the ores will stay in, the, in there. Uh, yes, I whitelisted everything, and I just got to make sure it's drain all. Okay. So now... Now we're going to go underneath, and I put some containers in here. I got that big container here for the main refinery, small container for the plates, small container for the uranium. So what I want to do first is I want to get a, a docking place set up for the the iron only, and I'm trying to figure out where I'd like that. And I would almost put it right here, I think. 
So we're going to go ahead and place a conveyor connector here. I'm going to keep this color coded with my uh, with the iron or the plate factory. Where do I want this? How? Oh, hit my head. You know, let's put them right here. I think. I'll put them sort of side by side, but as I said, they will be separate networks. So we'll put one there, and then the other one I'll put right here. Just for arbitrary reasons. And that one I should color it a little differently. And then what's going to happen is uh, one of these would probably be this one here. Don't look at that. I might move it over a little bit. But one of them is going to be feeding right into the, the plate factory, which is going to be iron only. And I'm going to color code it so I don't dump it off in the wrong spot. And the, uh, the other connector is actually going to feed both refineries. I'm just going to use sorters to... Uh, sift out any uranium ore and send that into that refinery there. Yeah. So now we go down here and uh, give me a moment. Okay. So this is going to be for the plates. I actually moved them over just a little bit here. So that's going to be for the plates. It's going to be for, set to drain all. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to have anything but iron ore in this thing. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a complicated network here. But I love meat conveyors. So we're going to do that. And let's see. I want this to come on the back side. We're going to take the long way around. Actually, no. I think we'll be okay doing it this way. And I'm going to actually use the straight pieces instead of the junctions. I know the junctions are expensive. But, you know, if I'm going to be switching between junctions and elbows and straights, I might as well just keep it all uniform, right? Okay, and then we're going to go over here and do the same thing, bring it over, do, 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 and it's almost like I knew what I was doing. You know, if I keep saying that, I might have to show, prove my worth one of these days. Okay, let me just fill that in, and this is just going to be straight up plate production. And then, because I've named that plate maker, like I said, I can just get that going continuously on plates, and we will be good to go. Oh my god, I don't know. I think I'm going to run out of iron on this project. Well, got iron in there, just got to process it. And then there's going to be a conveyor connector on top like so. And this side here, I'm going to end up doing red. Just because, so I know that, or whatever color I chose here. <laughs> That's not the color I chose. Yes, I know my energy's low. When isn't my energy low? All right, and we'll just color that, and that's going to be there. And just for symmetry purposes, I'm actually going to have this facing the right way, as the other one, like so. And then underneath, since I got to frame everything in, in anyways, we will put another elbow here, and then. I think we're going to go down a little bit more, like so, and then we're going to go down below, and then I'll put the sorters at the end there, just like so, so like that, and then come right across, like that, so, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sorters right here, I'm going to steal that color. And choose the right block for one. So our sorter there, and oh, I chose the wrong color. Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then one going in there, and that's going to be choosing the our, your, uranium ore. That's going to be choosing all the other ores, or basically what isn't, or blacklist uranium in there, whitelist it in there. And we should be good to go. And I don't think I have enough to build this. No, I don't. So let me be right back. Okay, so I have everything set up. So as you can see, I got two separate fair networks here. This one is feeding to the the main line here, which goes to that refinery here, which is uh, the big red one, which has the does all the stuff and to the uranium. I have this white listed. Oh, I don't have this white listed yet, but I I uh, move the container up front. And I'll show you that in a second here. I gotta do it. Yeah, drain all. We're gonna go ahead and whitelist uranium ore, like so. And then this one is going to be the same thing. It's going to be drain all, but we're going to blacklist uranium ore. 
So that way the uranium only goes into this one and then everything else goes in here. Uh, what I've also done too is I moved the uranium container over here. I just put a sorter here because, you know, it's not like we're going to be using this all the time. And now to get everything hooked up, and it's going to be relatively simple. I'm going to go ahead and use conveyor junctions. I'm going to keep my conveyors nice and orange, get that nice industrial look. And then this is basically simple. We go ahead and we just connect these containers up to the two assemblers. And I have been thinking about it. I might actually get both those assemblers working cooperatively because just think of how many plates two, refiner, two assemblers with full speed upgrades can do. Just like so. And then from here, these are the these are the assemblers, aren't they? I think they are. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to actually rebuild those because I want the, them coming out the top. Because this way, and then I'm gonna have to loop around and come up. But if I come out the top, then I can have those two connected and just piped right into there. So I guess uh, I will do that off camera. Yeah, because I gotta switch those around, and I can't, can't take those out now because the assembler is the only thing actually touching that. The speed upgrades are not, because they don't side snap. So if I take that out, then the assemblers aren't connected anymore. So let me pull those out and reorganize everything. I'll bring you back when I've got this all hooked up. And that is that. So now we go up here. So the, that's set up into the system. That's got its own connection. Uh, this is going to be producing right into the refinery or the assembler so let's see here um, hmm. how tall are we I guess what I want to do is I want to come over and connect that in so I'll probably go ahead and put a conveyor here or an elbow like so uh, we are going to put another sorter on here just to pull everything out to get it into the system and then just more conveyors like so and then this one is going to be feeding right into the main line along with these assemblers as well and what I'll do is I'll probably put another junction here it's going to be six and then we'll go five and then we'll meet uh, the plates up at the top there let's see how's that lining up one more. No, nope, one more after that, apparently. Yes. All right, and then we'll do an elbow. Like so. Yes, perfect. And add some more conveyors up. Like so. Do, 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 do. Like that. One there. Another seven. Or elbow. And then from here, I think what I'll do. Oh, cause I gotta, I gotta get these things to pull too. We'll do it this way. We'll do that. We'll do that. Do another sorter here, and this is just to free up, uh, clear out the assembler. You have to take out any components that are in there, and then. Yeah, it's going to be another junction here, probably. Yeah, junction, junction. Pipe, 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 and elbow. Like so. And that puts everything into the system. All I really have left to do is get everything to set to auto pull and get stuff produced so I will get this finished up and I'll bring you back okay I got everything all connected the only thing I forgot to do is this is actually for the the hydrogen oxygen line so I'm gonna actually patch this into here and I'm gonna put a sorter here because I don't actually have a sorter on this line because it was just basically on its own connection and I just want to make sure that is there all right, all right so we go back to two uh, one actually uh, this is later in the day for me and there's actually been a, uh, a new addition I'll show you that in just a second let me get some light in here so we can actually see what we're doing so we do that and then we're gonna place uh, of course it's low all right so we'll rotate that like that then we're gonna grab another sorter 
which I think I don't have my hot, on my hot bar anymore. No, I don't because I was putting signs up. And we will get to that in just a minute here. Uh, come here, sorter, where are you? There you are. So I'll do that. We'll make sure that that is actually facing in. We'll go fill that in. And it's just going to whitelist ice. Uh, go down here. Whitelist, and this is going to be ice only. And I am actually going to patch this one into... Yeah, I guess we'll patch it into here. That'll be our main line here. All right, now we just take this out. Make sure nothing drops when I do that. The junction here. Fill that in. Construction components. Now, yeah, hang on. Okay. Now, fortunately, I had been mat well, not necessarily mass producing stuff, but producing enough. I actually had to refine some of the iron I had from the in the ship up there. And I put it into the the plate refinery because I have four yield modules on that. So I give it the most. Okay, that is good. That has been whitelisted. Oh, I gotta finish that up if I can reach it. Okay, now let's get our parts back. I actually had to start disassembling some of the line, some of the old line, just because I didn't have the parts for it. All right, and that's a conveyor junction that can come out after I take uh, the connector off, the old connector. Everything else I'm going to leave. Uh, I'll show you the new additions in just a second here. Uh, you probably already see it, but we'll get to that in uno momento. Go to two, eight. We'll choose the right color first, like so. Okay, and like that, like that, and then I got some blocks underneath I gotta fill, including this one. Yeah, I don't know why it does that sometimes, but it does. All right, so now just uh, that one we gotta fix up top or repaint, I should say. And just fill these in just for the sake of it. Not like anybody's going to be out here anyways, except for me. At least I hope not. Might get some squatters living under here. You know, times are tough these days. You never know. Okay, so that is that. So now that's going to feed into the H2O2 generators generating ice and hydrogen for, or hydrogen and oxygen for us. So then, basically what it's going to be... Oh, okay, I am I'm on the plate plate one. So this is going to be iron and ice only, and it's a good thing I got it painted white too. And just for the sake of it, let's actually, let's put a, a panel on here just so I know. And place one here, like so. And we'll name this one. Let's go ahead. Displays, I just made four displays. <sighs> Anyway, well, uh, you get the idea. But anyways, it is all done. Everything's ready to go. It's just going to be set up. Uh, the new addition, as you can see, if you look in the corner there, you can see the programmable block. Yes, I did find a, a proper inventory script, one that actually works. It's fairly up to date. Uh, so what I've done is I just got the ingots on the top there, so I know what I have for supplies. So when I look down here and I can actually see what I have, uh, I don't really know where, where everything is, but uh, once I start producing everything, then I'm going to start filling in the, the signs here. So we've got interior plates up here, steel plates down here. There's nothing in there at the moment. And then then I think I had motors, computers, and yada, 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 bulletproof glasses all the way at the very end. And yeah, so that is that. So as you can see, this gives us inventory. Of course, it's counting everything I have in the assembly and the other storage there, which is nothing because it's all on on, on my person. Look at that. I got so much stuff on me right now. If I were to die, I'd probably cry. Probably not because I died so many times. I've lost so much stuff. But yeah, one of the things I did want to do is I, I was trying to find a way to get like the actual count on this. I was going to have like, let's say, I was going to have a picture of the interior plates here on its own LCD and then have another sign up top on the container itself with the count. But I was trying different, a couple of different scripts on that and haven't had the best of luck. I tried to do a visual script builder. There's absolutely no way of doing it through that. And any research I've done has come up with, come over with it, uh, older ver versions. Because apparently when they came out with 1.0, which technically was what, 
0189 or something like that that they changed a few of the co the, the lines and I'll just quickly show you that script there believe it or not just to do those two screens is everything you see here and if you've never seen code before this is why I've been hesitant to jump into it oh my god see and you have to actually add all these things so I'm sure if I went through here I'd actually be able to find a way to you know snip and trim away oh no do not save I didn't realize I was typing in there snip and trim and try to actually find a way to get like little scripts up if anybody is use handy at scripting uh, what I'm basically want to, what I basically want to do is I just want to get a count of that particular container on this LCD, and that's it. If I have to name the containers in the LCD, that's fine, but that's what I want to do. I just want so I can look up there and see how much I have instead of going over here and it's like, see, okay, uh, power cells. Okay, I have one, even though it's alphabet alphabetized. But anyway, so that is pretty much it. The only thing we have left to do, I could probably do that down here. I'm curious to see how much all that iron turned out to be. That didn't really yield all that much. Unless it's up in the assembler. So I put 200,000 in there. And I took out probably about 10. Oh, I guess so. Because I guess it's like 2 kilo of ore to 1 in kilo of ingot, maybe. I'm not too sure. But there we go. So we got our main storage here. This is going to be holding all our ingots. And keep it in uh, backlog for the assemblers. Speaking of assemblers... We're gonna go here, we're gonna to go to our plate maker, our production on the plate maker. And we are gonna do endless crafting. Where is it? Repeat mode. And it is just gonna keep printing plates. At a very slow rate because I don't have any upgrades on the assembler, but that's fine. As long as this keeps chugging away. If I need to make plates, and I don't know why I'm running over here to do it because I can't even access them. I was actually thinking about putting those two on cooperative mode. So in that way, they could fly through it all together quickly, or I might keep it separate so I could have one doing a whole bunch of stuff and I need to add something to the list I need right away. I can use the second, but then I'd have to know which one is which. So let's actually try this uh, cooperative mode. And I'm sure that's, yeah, so it's assembler specific. So you can actually say which one you want. Uh, that is it. and that will do this back on the cooperative and if I go over here if I keyboard roll properly there we go it's almost like I'm sticking out something and we look we have 34 steel plates already uh, I do have the update set for this on this for every five seconds I probably could do it every one but I'm not too worried about it but with that I think we're going to call the episode everything's set up we got this automatically set up with four yields for uranium. We have this one on two yields and two speeds for ores. And we have that one with four yield for iron. And what I'm going to do, since I have this ship sitting here and I still have, I think, like 200,000 kilos in here. And so actually, yeah, I got 300,000. This is where I'm actually going to dump it off in the, the main system. Just because we can. And just because I need it. In fact, what I'll do. You know, I, was not, I never thought about that, how it actually gets stuff into those containers. Actually, I do know a way. We'll set that up while this is dumping its load. Oh, it's one of those moments. Hang on. A good old banging of the keyboard seems to do the trick. Something tells me it's old and dirty and I need to get a new one. Kind of like me. Okay, we'll go up a little bit more and we'll drop her down. I might have to move these out. And I am not lined up properly. Of course not. There we go. And now... This should all start filing out into the main the main refinery here. I really do gotta get kind of the gravity generator. There we go. So that's going into the main refinery, which is going up into there, which is going into Sorry. 
supposed to be going in here. Hang on. I made a slight boo-boo. Apparently, the iron's going in here because that's where it's whitelisted. It's going into this container, but it's going through this junction into here. So it's ending up in a nickel. I don't know if it's going anywhere else. Apparently not. So that means I have to put some more junctions down here, some uh, uh, sorters, just to make it one way. So let me do that. And just like that. So that seems to be solving the problem. I did not set them to auto-drain. Uh, auto They're just set there just to make sure that it only comes out this way, not go back in. So then the iron is there. And we have nothing in there. And then what I'm going to do, quickly equip a drill. If I have it on the other hot bar. No, I don't. Because I do have some gold, like right below me. So let's go harvest a little bit of that and run it through the system and see if it actually ends up in the gold. Uh, where was it? It's hiding in a little nook and cranny here somewhere. But I know I've got, I'm sitting, sitting on a big pile of gold. Too bad it's useless in this game except for building. I think the only thing you really need it for is the superconductors. There's the gold. I know you didn't see it, but I did. As you can see, I have been in here, so I'll just, just a little bit, just a little, just to see how it works. And do do do, and don't want to miss any. Not that it matters. Like I, like I said, don't need a whole lot of it. I think the superconductors are actually pretty cheap too. Okay, so now try not to kill myself. Uh, can I actually access the connector from here? I think I can. Yes, I can. All right, we'll dump that in. Go over here, see if I can get my boots on. Yes. So that's going in there. The gold is coming out. And I believe... Is... And there it is. And that's actually where it's supposed to go. Let's check the... Yeah, it's the only way it can go. I saw that weird looking asteroid. I was like, that's a weird looking asteroid. And I realized it was by ship. So there we go. So we got plates being mass produced. We have uh, basically a full on production center. I do have to get resources in here like nickel, iron, cobalt, silver, uh, silicone. Oh, yes. Lots of silicone. And then we go from there. What I could probably do, may as well do this anyways. I think it was still number one. No, it wasn't. I'm going to put a small container right on that top conveyor, uh, conveyor junction line there. And that's just, if I have any ores on me, I can just put it right into the system. So we'll go ahead and grab a small. And yes, I have my mouse has a habit of double clicking on me. Where would be a good place to do it? I'll do it right here. Yes, sir. And we do that. Ah, oh, this place. Okay, and that should be it. So now I actually got all the the ores out of the, the assembler there. And these should all be pulled out and filed into their corresponding places. Or they would if I put a sorter on here. Okay. Oh, is that going to create an endless loop? I think so. Alright, so what we're going to have to do, I think... We'll just do it this way, hang on. So that's what we'll do. We'll put a sorter on it, and we'll just have it set to drain all. And then that way it will automatically clear out whatever's in that container and send it into the list. Drain all. Go like so. And off it goes. So iron's going, the silicone should be this one. Why did the gold go back in there? I must have something crossed here. Or maybe that just snuck through because it was still going through. It was still in the system. All right, I just want to make sure everything's going where it's supposed to. Like, where is the silicon? Yeah. 
Yeah, where is the silicon? It's still in there. What is going on? It should be feeding right into that pipeline. Hmm, let me investigate. Okay, well, this is puzzling me. I have no idea what's going on. I just tried putting uh, silver in, and it ended up in the silicon container for some reason. I guess if I look at the this here, and silicon wafer. But it's ending up in silver. I don't know why. If I put the silicon in, the nickel went into the iron. I don't know why. Put the silicon in and see where that ends up. That should be this container here. That's not the case. It's almost like it doesn't want to work with the junctions. Yeah, it's evidence that it ended up in here. It's bypassing bypassing that. It's almost as, as if I'd have to like double black double sort it. Uh, one with a white list, one with a black list. Hmm. Oh well, no big deal. As long as it stays in there, that's all that matters. So let's go over here, do a quick final check and see what it's what it's reading here. Five hundred tons of iron, that's it. Oh come on. That does seem like a lot. Well then again though that's ingots too. So I'll just throw this all back in here. It's just gonna end up wherever it wants to end up. That's fine, as long as this stuff gets where it needs to be. And let me just do a quick craft over there and we'll check it out. Okay, everything has been crafted. Now those assemblies worked so fast. Okay, plates, interior plates, motors, computers, construction components, displays, st small tubes, large tubes. Ah, how is iron doing in here for? I have no idea how that got in. I think that's stuff that I had in there. I don't, do not know. I got a blacklist iron in that. But anyways, yeah, then there's solar cells and everything seems to be fine. Let's go check this quickly here. Yeah, whitelist steel plate. I wonder if I should blacklist ingots instead. Let's do it that. But I do realize we are getting much longer than I wanted on this episode, so we're going to call this one here. Uh, next episode, I have a big project planned. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to be a doozy. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.